Depositing donations into your accounts in the accounting screen is quick and simple. You do not have to enter the donation information manually into the accounting screen like you do on the giving screen. With a click of your mouse, you can move the information you entered into the giving screen into the accounting screen. Let me show you how. Okay. All right. So when you're in church track, you'll click on the giving screen. Okay. And then you'll click on your batch date. There we go. Once you're in your batch date, you'll see that you have all your information already entered in. Um, so what you'll do is you'll click the actions button. Oh, let me scroll. Let me zoom in just so everybody can see that right there mm -hmm. below the list of batch mm -hmm. dates. Click that, and then there's a Create Deposit button. Okay, third from the top. Third from the top. So click there. You'll see that all that information is there. You'll need to select your account. What account do you want this to go into? The checking account. Yeah, most churches will probably just put it into their checking yeah. account. But you can remove some of these donations and exclude them from the deposit into the checking account so that you can then deposit those into a different account if you have multiple accounts. It's so I'll go ahead and have all of them selected. Yeah, and then click create deposit click for twelve hundred dollars. There, there we, we go. go. So now that you've done that, you can go into accounting and you can double check that. So if you click on the accounting screen and then click on that checking account, you'll see that very top transaction is that giving deposit. Perfect. So, so double click on it, and there it is. It opens up. It shows all of your categories that you had inputted in giving. Mm -hmm. But here, there's no names. Right. And that's important because some people in your account may need access to the accounting screen, but don't need to know who donated and how much. That's they just great. need to be able to balance the budget. Mm -hmm. So that's creating deposits. If you want to learn more about other features in ChurchTrack giving and accounting or other parts of the software, go to churchtrack.com support. You can easily search our entire user guide to find the answers you're looking for in seconds. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Facebook community of ChurchTrack users just like you in our Facebook group. Bye-bye.